Well, projection is, of course, a defining fact of the modern left. On virtually every issue, they attack their opponents as what they are. They call them racist, even as they denounce half the country for its skin color. Kansas gubernatorial candidate Chris Kobach is the latest person to learn that lesson the hard way. Over at CNN, Jeffrey Tubin says that because he dislikes Kobach's views, Kobach is, of course, a bigot. Here's part of it. Chris has devoted his career to stopping black people and poor people from voting. I mean, that's been your goal for <laughs> decades. That is, and, and, that you is know, an outrageous accusation. Well, it's completely true. That is I an mean, absolutely it, outrageous accusation. I mean, oh, so you, so if you are, if you like photo ID, you're trying to stop people of color from voting? Absolutely. That is outrageous. Absolutely. Chris Kobach joins us tonight. Uh, Chris, thanks a lot for coming on. So what, is there an, an argument that, and we've done this topic a couple of times, but I don't, I don't fully understand it. So the idea is what you just said, if you're trying to make certain that people vote legally and ask for ID, that's an act of bigotry. What is the, like flesh out that argument if you would, I don't understand it. The, the argument itself is a racist one. The argument is that somehow because of your skin color, you are less likely to have in your wallet a photo ID or you're less likely to be able to go to a government office and get a free photo ID. It's a ridiculous argument. It's been disproven empirically in state after state. But the hard left and now increasingly the entire left keeps making the argument. And you know, Tucker, I went into that uh, debate, that program, thinking we were going to have a cordial debate about birthright citizenship. But as soon as Jeffrey Tubin started losing the argument, he just out of the blue says, well, you've devoted your career to stopping people of color from voting. It's crazy. You're uh, a bad and person. It just showed Shut how up. Weak. But, but I wonder why, yeah. I mean, since ID and is required for everything, I mean, you can't cash your paycheck. You yeah. can't get on an airplane. You can't stay in a hotel or rent a car. I mean, you, right. you can't get into right. buildings without an ID. So why does no one ever call those laws racist, I wonder? Well, because maybe they aren't racist, and maybe it's not racist for your bank to insist on an ID when you cash a check. But of course, they, they pull this out of nowhere, and they don't realize the inconsistency that you just pointed out, and that my 12-year-old my daughter could have pointed out to them. Uh, they just, you know, it, 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 it must be racist, never mind that it's an incoherent statement. I, I wonder, I mean, this is probably not the first time you've been attacked this way, and, and the presumption is that the person attacking you knows what you think is somehow has x-ray vision and can see your heart yeah. um, and, and knows what your right. feelings are, which is insane. But beyond that, it has kind of short-circuited a rational conversation about the integrity of our elections, hasn't it? It, it, it absolutely has. I mean, to now even to suggest that voter fraud exists, which it does, and we've prosecuted many cases in my office as Secretary of State in Kansas, yeah. to even suggest that it exists is racist, just how, like they've short-circuited the uh, immigration debate. If you want to enforce our laws, you must be a racist. If you want to stop the caravan, you must be a racist. I mean, it's, it does. It just cuts off the debate completely when you attack the person making the other argument. I tried to buy Sudafed for my kids a couple years ago at CVS, and, and they wouldn't sell it to me because I didn't have an ID. I'm waiting for people to pick at CVS for its racist Sudafed policy. <laughs> you think that'll happen? Uh, I, I don't hold your breath. <laughs> it's unbelievable.